Marina Kufa today on the red carpet of Hollywood dedicated to Cancer College by Base Smash and a tennis channel today. Tennis pro tennis players vs celebrities is going to be amazing. We're gonna interview everybody. Stay tuned. So honored to be with the producer here right now. Yes, how are you? Good to see I'm you. I'm good. I mean, this is, you guys have the best events. Thank you. In Thank the Hollywood. You. Can you tell us a little bit? You know, like, we, we love working with great causes, great charities, great people. I love tennis, you know, I'm, I'm married to the head tennis coach at UCLA, Stella Sampras, and so it just made a lot of sense for us to do a tennis celebrity related event here. And in Manhattan Beach, a lot of folks don't really come to Manhattan Beach, but this is a great country club, and we just thought this is a great opportunity to have the world of Hollywood, celebrity, meet the world of tennis. So we have great names here today, we have two top ten players in the world, uh, we have some film and television actors. Uh, we have an NBA legend in Steve Nash, soccer legend Landon, Dol Landon Donovan, so it's going to be a lot of fun. We also uh, work on the television show The Voice, which we have in 100 countries worldwide. So I hope everyone, all of your viewers, are enjoying the TV show The Voice, enjoy the sport of tennis, and we're glad to have you guys with us. Thank you. Oh my gosh, we're, we're good right now. You know, all the celebrities are rolling in, all the tennis pros are coming in. We have some great names. We have Coco Vandewey, top 10 in the world. Sloane Stevens, who just won the U.S. Open, is coming. Eric Dane, Timothy Olfant, uh, Elizabeth Shue, uh, Steve Nash, Lana Dominic, the list goes on and on. So we're all here in the name of charity, having fun. Some of these people don't even play tennis, but they're going out there to show everybody that, you know what, let's all do this. We're going to help, you know, Cancer for College and USTA Foundation, and that's what we're doing. And we're here with amazing actor Sheldon Bailey. So we here want to ask you several questions. How long you playing tennis? How long have I been playing tennis? Well, I grew up playing tennis up until for a few years, and I took a break, and then I got back into tennis about a year ago. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I like the here and there, but I definitely have some tennis in my life, and I watched tennis my whole life. Now hold on, because you were born in Germany, right? I was born. Amazing. Do you speak German? Speak uh, Deutsch? Uh, yeah, Heinz Bischen. Just, just a right. little bit. Yeah, it's Heinz the Sheldon, and I don't know. <laughs> Things like that, some Guten basic talk, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Guten Tag, very good. Guten Morgan. Yeah. So, um, this is the very first celebrity uh, tennis tournament. How do you feel about it to support? Oh, I'm looking forward to it because there are not many, I feel like, tennis events that happen like this. So I'm really happy to be here and to be a part of it. And I'm looking forward to having a good day and playing some good tennis. It's awesome. Now news of the world. Um, I'm very familiar with people in Germany and familiar with people in China. I played for the Shanghai Sharks uh, Professional wow. Basketball Club. Uh, our show, Game Shakers, Nickelodeon, airs on in, in Germany. Um, I actually had an opportunity to go to the Viacom offices in Berlin this summer and uh, have a meeting with them as well. Yeah, so Game Shakers is doing well in Germany and also in Asia too. And thanks for having me. They're good, okay. they're good. Uh, thank you, Sharon. First one, charity event that you guys are going to play against the celebrities. Yes, it's always fun to come out and play with celebrities and do it for such a great cause. I think it's great to use um, my platform as a sports person to be able to shed light onto these amazing charities and the amazing work that they're doing day in and day out, and I only get to experience a day of it. So I'm happy to spend my time out here on Saturday and get to goof around and play a little bit of tennis. From NBA to a tennis today. For a change. Yeah, I feel a little out of place, but uh, you know, I really love the game of tennis. I just started playing the last year or so, and I'm really enjoying learning something new, and so hopefully I'll get to learn a lot today. And who would you like to play against today? Uh, I'm not really that sure who's here, so I, I'm sure many many good players that can teach me a lot, so I'll just be excited to be on the court with people that are playing at a high level. And how do you feel about the charity? It's great. I mean, obviously, anytime people come together to try to help those who are struggling or less fortunate or underserved, and I think it's really important that we all try to pitch in, so I'm happy to be here to lend my support. That's all right. News of the world on the red carpet of Hollywood with one of the best NBA players, Steve Nash. Thank you so much, Steve. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So you're going to be the national anthem singer today? Yes, I'm going to sing the national anthem for you guys today. I can't wait. This is the very first event, so it's going to be very beautiful. Yeah, yeah, I'm really excited. I love singing the national anthem, one of my favorite songs to sing. And how do you feel about the voice? 
Oh, I love The Voice. It's given me a, a great opportunity to uh, pretty much do what I love to do full time now. So I'm really excited, of, you know, about what they're doing and uh, yeah. And what are your future projects, darling? Actually, I have a single coming big. out really, really soon. Um, in the next couple of months, you should be hearing a single from me. So you can um, uh, follow me on social media. I am Damian Music Instagram or DamianLawson.com. And what? <laughs> How are we doing today? I'm doing great. I'm very happy to be here. I love tennis. Um, so any charity event that has tennis in it, I am very excited to show up and, and support. And how long you've been playing tennis, then? Um, I started when I was 37. Okay. I started very late. Um, I got obsessed, and I just think it's one of the most interesting, challenging, really um, just fulfilling for your life. It's a kind of sport that just keeps you engaged with it. It's so difficult. And it's healthy, too, right? And it, yeah, it keeps you in shape. Because you are in a great shape. I mean, you are amazing. So I need to know all the secrets, okay? <laughs> the secret is just Keep running, keep running, keep moving. Yes, and don't give in to feeling bad about getting older. I think that's what really is so difficult with women is they think there's something wrong with them that they're getting older. Like it's almost our fault that we're getting older. And you just need to embrace it and keep exercising. We have to exchange the words for older than to stronger, right? Yes, yes. Older, stronger, smarter, sexier, harder. And better. Better. <laughs> and today, uh, you are supporting uh, charity. Yes, yes. Yeah. I'm here supporting Cancer for College. Thank you. Um, what are your latest projects? Um, I was just in Battle of the Sexes about Billie Jean King. Oh, wow. Uh, that just came out in September. And I'm in Death Wish with Bruce Willis. That comes out in March. How was that? It was fun. Yeah, he's such an interesting character. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's cool because I play his wife and I, you know, I don't think it really gives it away. It's called Death Wish. It's not an excuse for me to come out and try to ace some pros. You see some pros on television, like, you know, returning serves. I want to ace them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going for broke. I got nothing to lose. You know? I've been playing tennis for about 10 years. When I was on the road a lot, it was one of those things I'd stop in every city and try to find a court so I wouldn't blow up to like 300 pounds just sitting around eating deli trays. And the, you know, the Cancer for Colleges is, is, a, is a, a great organization and that's one of the main reasons I came here and uh, uh, I'm excited just to be a part of it. Anything I could do to like you know, play tennis and have fun with people and still raise money for cancer. That's pretty Amazing. great. Yeah, it's a win-win-win. It's what are your latest projects? What are you working um, on? I just scored a film, actually. I'm not touring as much anymore, but uh, I just scored a film for National Geographic uh, IMAX film. Oh, great. Yeah, and it's playing uh, all over the States right now. It's called Extreme Weather. It's uh, about uh, climate change. and. Uh, that's about tornadoes and forest fires That's and glaciers. Uh, and it's really, really it's shot great. It's uh, the director named uh, Sean Casey shot it and it looks amazing. And then I'm also working on this another project called The Bygone. And The Bygone is about uh, human trafficking in the United States. It's based in that, it's based on the North Dakota, North Dakota uh, oil fields and how a lot of uh, Native American women are being uh, trafficked. And um, the two directors, uh, Graham and Parker Phillips, it's their film. They wrote it, and it's really good. So uh, I'm starting that uh, actually this week. They want to have a rough cut by Christmas, and I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, I'm, I want to make it happen. I'm going to have to dig in, though, you know. Uh, but uh, I'm excited to be working on some really great projects, you know. Okay, Marina. Your partner is still taboo. You don't know who you're going to play against today, right? I don't. Do you know? Let me find out. <laughs> I hope it's Coco. I hope I'm playing with Coco. I hope too. Then I have a much better yeah, chance. Definitely. Uh, London, how does it feel? This is the very first charity. I'm keep pointing it out because it's so important. Uh, how does it feel on the emotional part to come and support cancer? Well, we are lucky as athletes that we have a platform to do good things if we want to. Uh, not every athlete takes that responsibility but a lot of us do and when we have the opportunity to do something good for the world have fun playing tennis be around great people it's pretty easy how would you encourage youth those days because you have a kids too right do they play soccer a little bit they oh, kick yeah? the ball a little okay. bit um i think we're living in a society where we're getting a little bit away from just having fun and enjoying life 
outside and playing and I think if we can get back to that, um, be healthy for all of us because we spend a little too much time in front of TVs and phones and screens and so um, when you have the chance to come and be outside and spend time with people and interact, I think that's a positive. If you will be born again, what would you choose? <laughs> be born again? Choose for what, a sport? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably, oh, career. probably tennis actually. Yeah. I've tennis. always I've always loved tennis and I think um, if I had played when I was little I might have had a chance to be okay at it. Awesome. Yeah. Where you are live with We Get You Media and News of the World here. We are one of the greatest soccer player, Linda and Donovan. Thank you so much. Hey guys, Landon Donovan here and this is Red Carpet of Hollywood. Who's with you watching Red Carpet Hollywood?